Hey Aries, how about we get into your reading? So let's get at it. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups. And a Queen of Wands. This looks pretty good. So you're striving towards um, complete prosperity and abundance here um, in, on, in the material world. There is a harmonious connection signified. And the Queen of Wands is all about growth, leadership, confidence. So this is good. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here for Aries? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Okay. So this feels like this feels like you're as you go about your life here, it's like you stumble across something that that you have a choice to make and one of the options will bring you the prosperity you're looking for here okay it's kind of like a like a chance meeting or a chance like a chance opportunity like it you know it should couldn't have happened any other way okay why do we have the two of cups here for Aries? the lovers the lovers on the two of cups this is good Definitely signifies a harmonious connection. The Four of Swords and the Sun. Okay, so this is definitely like you don't have to work so hard at having a harmonious connection here. It's just happening for you. Um, it is where you need to be, and it is bringing you towards the most happiness you can possibly have. So this is good. Why do we have the Queen of Wands here for Aries? Queen of Wands for Aries. The Empress, King of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Interesting. Okay, this is really good energy. This feels really good. Um, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands in the same row here. This is the Divine Counterparts. It looks like you're, as the Queen of Wands here, you're working towards being the Empress, which is a really good thing. And you're helping to build a firm foundation for what's to come in your life here. Let's get some more cards here. Let's get some advice for Aries if we can. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so in addition to what I've said, there's going to be um, an opportunity for learning here to learn a lesson of some sort. And it's going to be like a quick, a quick lesson, like a quick thing. Like something just happens all of a sudden. It's not, it doesn't look like it's planned or it's not a long time coming. It's just a quick, quick change thing that you're going to learn a big lesson from. Why do we have the Page of Pentacles here for Aries? Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords. And the Hierophant. Yeah, it looks like this lesson is going to be focused around showing you what you really, really want in life and the truth of your desires here. And what those are and how you can get them. So why do we have the Knight of Swords here for Aries? Four of Cups. Five of Pentacles and the Strength card. Yeah, it looks like like everything was going a certain way that you planned. It was all going as planned, and then there there was a kink in there, like a somebody threw a kink into it. Um, it did create some negative negative stuff here, some disappointment, some hardships maybe. But with the Strength card on top, this does, does signify that you have everything it takes to get through it. just a hiccup. Okay, so let's get three more cards and see what else there is for Aries. Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Okay. So this event may have made you realize that what you do want, you don't have yet. And that you need to focus on on getting that it's like you thought you had everything you thought you had everything you wanted but then you realized through these events here that might have been a little bit difficult that that is you don't have everything you want and there's something more that you want and now you have the opportunity to go get it okay that is your reading Aries have a great day